All right, for the reverse sled drag that we're doing, um, RX is 270s for dudes and 253 for ladies. If we run out of kettlebells, we can always use different weights as long as it adds up to the total. But how you do it, how I would do it, is we have two, battle, two kettlebells and we have our ropes. I would just put the rope all the way through it and then just noose it through like a normal rope. So this will be tight. And then we have this other uh, black piece that was like our handles for the sleds. And I would just have this loop through it. So when I get done, I have like this piece where I can put my hands through it. And then from here, they just drag it reverse. Now the idea is that we want to start, um, we want the kettlebells to start behind the line and then we want them to walk the kettlebells past the line. So you may have to change up the distance depending on this length, they may hit the wall before they actually cross the line. But once they get it, let's say the line's over here, I walk past, once I get it past the line, then all I'll do is just stay in my lane and I'll walk back and they'll flip around and then I'll just reverse walk them that way until they get past the line and then I would do the same exact thing. So that's kind of what we're looking for for the reverse sled drag. Um, it should be tough. Uh, and we just walk backwards and the rule is they have to go down and back, down and back before they switch. So we want it to be a little bit grindy. So down, back, down, back. Then the other partner will come in, down, back, down, back. That's kind of how we're gonna do it. But that's how we set it up for the reverse uh, kettlebell drag. It should just be grindy, it should be tough. They probably won't do it quickly. They'll probably walk, they won't run, anything like that. So that's what it is.